want to go over briefly uh, working with the MoGraph tracer object. Um, so this is just one example of what you could do with the tracer object. Uh, just to get started, I'm going to uh, use an emitter. So I'll go ahead and put an emitter in here. Uh, and we're going to try to simulate growth, sort of uh, organic growth. And so right now I've got an emitter in here. If I play, you can see that the emitter is shooting out particles. Um, so I'm simply going to select my emitter, go into MoGraph, and put a tracer object in there. And you'll notice in the tracer uh, uh, objects properties tab, the emitter is selected as the thing that it's following. It's going to trace the paths. And so now if I go back and play, you can see that it's actually drawing lines um, that follow the emitter uh, particles. Now what, we can, what can we do with that? Well, there's a few things we could do with it. Uh, one thing we could do is to create a, a sweep nerves object. Uh, and essentially what the tracer is creating is pads um, or NURBS objects. So if I come in here and select something like a rectangle, I'll use this as my sweep NURBS object to trace, make it sure it's kind of small. Um, and I'll use my tracer as the thing that it's going to trace. So you can see what it's doing right now is actually uh, creating boxes that follow the emitter path. And so by modifying the emitter, uh, such as the speed, um, the direction and angle on the emitter, we can get some pretty interesting uh, effects. So now you, you can also um, apply emitter effects such as turbulence and uh, crank that up a little bit, increase the scale. So now we start to get uh, some change in direction. Start to get a little bit of uh, organic uh, shape changing. So the more you increase the um, strength of the turbulence, the more um, sort of interesting patterns you can get. And so you can see this could be really uh, useful for creating things like uh, vessels, uh, for tree branches, and things like that. So do play around with the uh, sweep nerves object. I think you will be able to generate some pretty interesting effects and uh, see what you can come up with. Here's just a quick example of using uh, the tracer objects uh, with the swoop nerves.